Today's Pack With Me video is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Now be sure to check out Shipmate app because they have an awesome new feature where you can actually write the review of your cruise while you're still on the ship through the Shipmate app. Be sure to find Cruise Tips TV, add us as a friend, and write a review on your next cruise. Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV. Welcome back to another pack with me. We're really, really looking forward to our Royal Caribbean cruise. It's coming in hot. We're going on Harmony of the Seas for seven nights to perfect day at Coco Key, St. Thomas, and St. Martin with three glorious sea days in between to take in all that the ship has to offer. So today, you guys are gonna pack with us for this cruise. So here's how we're gonna do things today. We're gonna do things just a tiny bit different. I'm gonna start by telling you, in case you are someone who's watched a lot of our packing videos before, I'm gonna tell you what's different about our packing game this time. Then I'm going to tell you lots and lots of tips for packing for the Caribbean, and we're just gonna show you as much as possible, as you can see, by this rack right here of what is going into our suitcases. Now you'll wanna to stay till the end of this video if you'd like to see what it looks like when the suitcases are all packed. So what we'll do is we'll put everything into our suitcases, we'll open them up and we'll take a quick shot of what everything looks like kind of jangled into the suitcase, okay? So if you wanna see that, stay till the very end. Also, if you wanna see our shoes, stay to the end. We're gonna line them all up on the floor and show you all the shoes we're taking. I'll talk about them throughout the video, but we wanna kind of show you that and it just saves a little bit of time. So yeah, let me tell you a little bit about who we are. We are Cruise Tips TV. We are cruise travel vloggers and we produce tip segments. We've been doing this for about six years and we've been on a number of cruise lines all over the world, about 32 different cruises. So if you're new, welcome. I hope you subscribe today and stick around for more awesome content. We're going to be vlogging this adventure on Harmony of the Seas and it's gonna be a ton of fun. So that is who we are. Um, myself, my husband, and my 10-year-old son, our 10-year-old son, um, who we're, is who we're packing for on this particular cruise. So you're gonna be seeing clothing and accessories for women, clothing and stuff for guys, and what we're packing for our 10-year-old little boy, which is mostly, let's just be honest, shorts, t-shirts, and stuff for swimming, right? Like kids are so low maintenance, so that should be pretty easy. But let's start today with what is different about how we're packing for this Caribbean cruise. The first thing that's different is that we have invested in some water shoes. So we have my water shoes here, my son's water shoes, and my husband's water shoes. And we partnered with A Leader Footwear to get you guys a discount code on these puppies. So it's a limited time code. We're going to put the details in the description down below. But all of our community was telling us you really need water shoes for the Caribbean. So that's gonna be the first thing you notice that's different about packing. If we're gonna be going to the beach and stepping on some rocks or um, you know, snorkeling on a reef or walking around at perfect day at Coco Key in the heat, I've heard that these are just absolutely essential. So get yourself a pair using the discount in the description below. What else is different? Well guys, I've broken from tradition and I'm not taking my standard cruise binder. Instead, junior editor, my son, <laughs> <laughs> had an art project one day and I had him put together just a teeny tiny little manila folder for my very limited paperwork. So what's in here is my wall mount itinerary. I'm gonna link to that if you wanna make one of your own um, and we'll show that to you once we get on the ship. It's just kind of a one page laminated piece of paper that we hang on the wall that shows what we're doing every day and keeps us on schedule. I've also got our boarding passes in here and I have some information um, from Go Port Canaveral, which is the company that we're using for our transportation and hotel stay over in Orlando. So I found that Royal Caribbean was just super paperless. I'm using the app. My boarding passes are actually on the app and most everything we need is digital. So I just didn't feel that I needed that really big binder. Regardless, I will link to that video so that you guys can check it out if you wanna learn how to make a cruise binder. But for now, this is all the paperwork that's going with us on this cruise, and that is a little bit different. Another thing that's different is that Real Caribbean doesn't have self-service laundry. So we found this cute new product called Sink Suds. I just found them on Amazon, and we're gonna be doing little bits of laundry in the sink as needed, you know, swimsuits, underwear, socks, things like that. So this is really different, and I'll let you guys know when I get back how I like these. One packet, I guess, washes one sink full of laundry. We'll find out how that works. I'm really excited to check it out. Also, for the first time in a really long time, I am actually not taking any magnets on this cruise. 
If you've watched our stateroom organization and packing videos in the past, you've probably seen that we put magnets on the walls. The cruise line, um, cruise ship walls are magnetic, and we put things on the walls, like a little grab-and-go station by the front door, paperwork. But we're really trying to pack light because we, as a family, do travel carry-on only. So that was one thing that we decided to nix this time in our little adventure. Also wanted to let you know that we got a new carry-on. Uh, it's actually, we got a couple new carry-ons. We have a new, couple new carry-on suitcases. We have this cute little suitcase that we got at TJ Maxx that says Bon Voyage. And this is our new Go Penguin, which we also have a discount for, discount code for. This is a gorgeous carry-on that comes in a bunch of colors. So I'll give you a little look at this really quickly. This is about what it looks like. It's extremely lightweight and it has really, really high quality spinner wheels. So so that's pretty cool. I'll show you my bag now, my carry-on bag, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump right into what's in my carry-on. This is new. This is my new mini gen from Mia Tui. I've got a discount code for that too. I'll put it in the description below. And I wanna show you everything that's in it and why I bought this. This bag has a sleeve on the back that goes over the trolley handle of your carry-on. So rather than me having to schlep a backpack through the airport with sore shoulders, I'm getting old guys, it's not easy anymore, this just goes right over the sleeve. So that is why I use this bag. Now I will be taking a backpack on this cruise. This cute little packable backpack will be going with us, but I'm not gonna wear it on the plane. If you wanna travel really light and you don't wanna take anything extra, you could totally pack into a backpack as your personal item if you're going carry-on only. But for me, I like the ease and the access of this bag. As you can see, everything is just really easy to get to. So I'll be sliding this under the seat in front of me on the airplane, and it should be super duper simple to get things in and out. We're flying from Florida, excuse me, from California, Florida, and Florida back to California. It's not a very long flight. It's only about five hours, but you wanna be comfortable, right? So let me show you what's inside. First is my cosmetics bag. I actually scaled down into a smaller cosmetics bag. This little puppy is something I found at TJ Maxx. Love it. I have a, a pashmina type scarf that I take on every cruise. These have a million different uses from using them as a neck pillow to keeping you warm to covering your legs if you get chilly. So many different uses. I'm taking a water bottle. It happens to be a cool little Royal Caribbean water bottle. I love this. You could use this for hot or cool liquids and this is a great way to just make sure that you have an insulated bottle with you at all times. This little container right here has some fuzzy socks in it. Yes, I know, I have a striped pouch that just has fuzzy socks in it. It's ridiculous, but these are important to me on a plane. I like to get cozy. And then we have a Ziploc bag full of Santa hands. These are my favorite alcohol-based hand cleansers that we like to use when we can't get to a hand washing situation, whether it's on a plane, on the islands, on the ship, wherever we take these everywhere with us and they're great and I wanna have them on the plane with me, they're super. I also have a little thing of Clorox wipes in there to wipe down the, uh, the airline seats before we get really cozy, wipe down the tray table, right? The handles, the little buttons that you plug everything into, the TV. We get all that wiped down uh, before the flight takes off. Then I have this really cute little accessory pouch from Travelon, and this has all of my tech accessories in it. So for example, we've got headphones, chargers, and a portable charger. Probably have more than one portable charger in here. Just in case our JetBlue flight doesn't have in-seat charging, we like to take some portable chargers with us. Next up, I do have a few pens in there which are stuck in the bag, so I'm not gonna pull those out. I have this handy little um, travel on neck wallet that we use um, that has our passports in it, so you can just hang it around your neck for the times that you're approaching the airline counter or when you're checking in at the cruise counter. You can keep this around your neck and then pop it back in your bag if you'd like. But we've got our global entry cards in here, a pen, super important. Always make sure you take a pen, passports, and when the time comes, our flight boarding passes are gonna go in here as well. Um, this is kind of a silly thing, <laughs> but I also have a selfie ring light. These are actually really great, you guys. For if I wanna do any filming on the flight, I can clip this to my phone. It's really cool, and you get a little bit of extra light. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use it, but every time I leave this at home, I always wish that I had it. So if you're gonna be doing any photography using your smartphone, these are really great to clip on. And last but certainly not least, we have 
are TSA liquid bags. So I actually have two of these in the bag, but this is the one that's carrying all the liquids. These are fully compliant for the 311 rules if you're flying within the United States of America. And the types of things that you're gonna see in this container are shampoo, eye makeup remover, we've got some chapstick, We've got toothpaste, hair gel for the boys, shaving cream, a very small amount of sunscreen, and other liquids like body lotion and things like that. So all of the liquids for the trip are in this. I'm keeping it pretty minimal this time. You can take one of those per person per the 311 rules, but we just pack one for the whole family. I'm kind of the pack mule for the whole family. And then the next little TSA container I use actually doesn't have the liquids in it really. I did put the sink suds in here because they are technically liquid and I wanted to make sure that all of those liquids were in my carry-on bag that'll go through the scanner, right? You have to be able to take those out quickly. I've got my sleep mask in case I wanna take a nap on the airplane. I've got tissue and I've got some pain reliever and then those Clorox wipes I mentioned and some baby powder. Baby powder is just a wonderful thing to carry with you anytime. So those are pretty much the contents of my carry-on bag. Um, a lot of people always ask me, where's your purse? Well, I actually don't travel with a purse. So I'll be taking my wallet and my car keys and transferring them into this bag on cruise day and then no purse for me for the rest of the trip. Instead, I will be using, if I need to carry stuff around the ship, I will be using this darling little wristlet bag that came with the Mia Tui Mini Gen that I just showed you. It's the same color, it's rose gold, and it came with a bag. So it also inside has a shoulder strap that you can attach to it, but I kinda like the wristlet concept and this will be the purse that I use if I even need one on this cruise. All right, so we've talked about the carry-on bag for me. We've talked about what's different. I wanna show you my son's carry-on backpack. We're gonna keep this really light, but this is just a cool little yak pack, it's called, that we got on sale at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or someplace like that. Has lots of compartments in it. We're gonna not put a lot of stuff in here for him because we don't wanna weigh him down. He's a little guy, so he'll have some snacks in there. He'll have something to read, probably his Kindle, an iPad, and not a whole lot else, really. Sometimes I'll pop something kind of lightweight and bulky in here if he has a little bit of extra room and the family needs a little more space. So, you know, as long as it's not too heavy, we'll, we'll do that. And my husband will be taking a carry-on camera bag on his back that he always takes along. I'm not gonna show it to you today because it's really heavy and he's in the middle of getting it ready for the cruise, but just know that it is a, um, it's probably a Manfrotto brand or something like that, camera bag, and he has none of the family stuff in it. So it's all camera equipment for our vlogging adventure. So you've probably seen it before and we don't need to show it to you today. So let's talk about what's gonna go in the suitcases, guys. What's gonna fit in these three suitcases right here? And then um, we'll talk about the clothes. So we'll talk about kind of the non-clothing items first. In this particular pouch right here, I have our luggage, um, our luggage tags for the cruise right here. These are not Royal Caribbean compliant tags, but it doesn't matter what kind of um, outer plastic cover you use as long as they fit. So this is what I used and we'll put, uh, we're gonna actually put together a Caribbean cruise packing list and have just all of this stuff, that, as much stuff as we possibly can, we're gonna link to. And these little guys are one of those things. So we have those, we have some really cool lanyards for every men, uh, member of the family. These are things that you can put around your neck and put your cruise card in if you'd like. It's obviously very much optional. That is if we don't get the wow bands, which I'm kind of thinking that we might wanna get the wow bands. I also packed some sticky notes. I think these are really great to have to leave notes for your family or your room steward if you need to, if you're not all using the app. And a couple of thank you cards for the crew if we need it. So that is little pouch number one that will go in one of our suitcases. The next pouch that's from the same set has a travel alarm clock. I'll just take everything out and show you really fast. Our little travel alarm clock here that we take with us because as you know, there's not really clocks in staterooms. You have to turn on your TV usually to tell the time. So we like to have just a little digital, is it a digital clock? It's not an analog, I always make that mistake. I also have some um, sea bands for seasickness in case we go on a small boat tour or something like this. These go on your wrists and they activate, I believe the P3 point to help you minimize motion sickness. I don't usually get motion sick, but they're just really nice to have. I'm also taking a clear plastic 
waterproof bag that a lot of people use to carry around their neck for their cell phone. What we actually do is we don't put our cell phones in them, we just put our valuables in them, so credit cards, cash. Say you're going to the beach in St. Thomas and you don't wanna leave your, your, um, your wallet, your bag, your valuables on the beach chair while the whole family goes swimming. Pop the little valuables that you brought with you in here and take them in the water with you and you can feel totally safe. That's something new that we've started to do. Also have a little supply of Ziploc bags. There's so many good uses for Ziploc bags on a cruise or when you're traveling. We're actually gonna make a standalone um, travel hacks video that talks all about different ways you can use Ziploc bags on a cruise. So we'll talk about that later. This is also where I'm storing our family's medication for our cruise for the week. So this is kind of like a first aid bag. It has band-aids, it has some emergency in it, it has pain reliever for the whole family, some stera strips and little butterfly closures in case somebody gets a cut and it's like not stitches worthy, but it needs a little attention. And we also have some antibiotic ointment that we pack with us, but that goes in the liquid container. Cough drops, allergy medicine, cold medicine, tummy medicine small amounts of a lot of different types of things in case we need something, someone gets sick and we have to wait a few days to get to a port to buy more. You have a little of everything, but we don't like to go too overboard on the medication because it takes up a ton of room. And then the last thing in this bag, this is actually a wet swimsuit bag. This is a Wander wet bag. Um, for wanderwetbag.com, I'll put a discount code for you below and a link, but these keep your swimsuits, your wet swimsuits away from everything else in your bag. And they're just really, really handy for beach days. Wonderful to put your swimsuit in after a beach day. You can also put other things in them when you're not using them for your swimsuit. You could pop your sunglasses in there, your cell phone, whatever it might be. So I always travel with one of these. I love them, they're great. Okay, so those are the mesh bags that we're packing this time. We're also taking goggles for the whole family. This is really funny, you guys. We like to snorkel, but we don't like to use snorkeling equipment. So whenever we're at a beach, we will not rent the snorkeling equipment. We'll just take our goggles and go like free swimming and free diving as a family instead of having to worry about the germs on the snorkel. I know, I know, but you really, you don't really know if those things are getting clean. So we're just gonna take our goggles and, and you know, if we need them, we need them. If we don't, we don't, but they're not gonna take up a ton of space in our suitcase. Next up is one of my absolute faves. This is my e-bags packet flat hanging toiletry bag. And this little guy has been with me all over the world and is just wonderful. This is where we're gonna put all of our toiletries that aren't liquid for traveling for right now. And then we can transfer liquids into them later, but it's super cool has lots of different pouches. For right now, I have things like my deodorant, a bar of soap, and our toothbrushes, earplugs, stuff like that is in this bag. But an awesome <clears throat> minimal uh, impact kind of toiletry bag. It really does lay nice and flat in your suitcase and that's why we love it, it's great. Okay, then next item is my good old jewelry roll. You've seen this little guy before, it rolls right up. You put all of your jewelry in the little pouches. I have bracelets, rings, necklaces, nothing valuable of course, just costume jewelry, but all of it packs nicely in here. And when you get on the ship, got a tip for you, you can hang it in your closet with your clothes so you can kind of go and look and see what matches and then you're, you're good to go. You could also just leave it in a drawer too, that'd be perfectly fine. Okay, another essential thing that we always cruise with is a pop-up hamper. These are a lifesaver so that your stateroom doesn't get all messy with laundry being all over the floor. If you don't wanna take one of these, another hack for you is when you get on the ship, slide your suitcases under the bed, but leave one of them open and just put your dirty laundry in the suitcase as you use it. Only downside about that is it can get a little musty. If you have wet swimsuits and things like that going into a suitcase, it can get a little bit moldy over the course of the week. So we kind of like how these hampers are mesh and they aerate really nicely. So another tip for you. I already told you about my backpack, but I'll show you again. This is the Oryxin. These are really inexpensive. I have to be honest, they're not super duper high quality, but we really don't care because they're inexpensive and they're packable and they're really lightweight and they're great for beach days. You don't have to worry about getting them dirty. You can fling it in the sand and not worry too much. Gotta take my curling iron. So this is going in, a hairbrush is going in, a comb, anything that I need for my hair. 
and we also have sunglasses for the whole family and these will probably go one pair will go in our carry-on personal item bag and then the other if we take more than one that will go in our checked luggage and of course we have hats for the whole family as well hats are super important in the caribbean we're going to be getting a lot of sun we want to protect our faces our noses my son and i are super duper pale so we want to be careful about that okay so that's the great majority of all the non-clothing stuff. As you can see, there's some packing cubes back on the shelf back there. This set right here, these two are my husband's packing cubes. So he's gonna be taking three packing cubes. Those two are already packed. The rest of the clothes that he's gonna be taking with him on the cruise are gonna be going into a third packing cube, and those are right here. Then those are my and Junior's packing cubes. Those are started, but you'll see that there's gonna be a lot more packing cubes in the picture when we're done with this. But what we did is we left everything on hangers because we wanted to show you what's going in the bags, give you a general idea, maybe give you some inspiration if you're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise or any cruise to the Caribbean for that matter. So we're gonna work from the front to the back and I'll just give you really quick looks at everything that we're taking. Um, this first little section of clothes right here is um, my son's formal wear. So he has a little vest and some slacks. These are really great. And a couple of pretty wrinkle-free shirts and ties to wear on formal night. Hopefully you can see those okay. There's no need for a jacket for kids or for adults unless you wanna take a jacket or a tux. You can totally do that if you want. Next, we have a bunch of collared shirts for him to wear to dinners. So I have just packed him two simple pair of pants, one pair of jeans, one pair of kind of olive -y color pants, and those will go with all of these shirts. He's got a cool little school shirt here that's gonna match his dad. And the rest are just a variety of nice, casual, cotton, breathable, collared shirts for Junior. So that's that. In his packing cubes, we have underwear, socks, and swimwear already packed away, including a rash guard for him. We have rash guards for the whole family because perfect day at Coco Key is gonna be a long day out in the sun and we need to protect our skin. So let's talk about Mr. Cruise Tips TV stuff. My husband is taking, he's taking four shirts for dinners that I'm gonna back up and show you really quickly. So we've got just some nice collared items here. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Those are his collared shirts. And he'll wear those with some nice, basic, like, how would you describe those? Like khakis, kind of? Simple, you know, flat front pants with a nice shoe, but nothing too fancy. And then for formal night, he has two dress shirts, two ties, but he only takes one pair of pants to wear both nights. Where is your vest? It's not in here, is it? So you're not taking the vest this time? So no vest for him this time. Sometimes he goes with a vest and bow tie look and he looks exactly like the crew. <laughs> it's totally funny. A lot of people asking him where the bathroom is all the time, but for this trip, it looks like he's just doing two dress shirts, one pair of pants, and two ties. So those are the boys' clothes. Now remember, all of their other stuff, their shorts, their hybrid swimwear, and all of their t-shirts and stuff is in their packing cubes already. We don't wanna show you every single item of clothing because you guys have got this, you know what to do. So let's talk about my clothes because we know that that's where the majority of the stuff is. Look how much of this rack is being used on my clothes. A tip for you while we're talking about the jeans that I'm going to be wearing. One tip is to wear your most bulky clothes on the plane. For me, that's gonna be my jeans. It's gonna be some type of sneaker, not my water shoes, but my regular sneakers and maybe a hoodie. Don't put that stuff in your suitcase unless you absolutely have to, especially if you're cruising in the middle of winter and you're going from a cold destination to a warm destination. You wanna wear that stuff. So I'll be wearing one pair of jeans. I will wash them when I get to our pre-cruise hotel most likely, and then maybe wear them to a dinner or two on the cruise. I brought some shirts to wear. I also have three pair of shorts, some khakis, a white pair, an aqua pair, just keeping it really simple there, and a number of shirts to kind of mix and match with those shorts. So I'll let you see here, I've got a cute free people, really flowy off the shoulder number, a green off the shoulder shirt, a black one to wear with jeans to dinner, and then one tank top. I have a few more tank tops in um, my suitcase, but my MO, you guys, during the day is really swimsuits and cover-ups. So all of my swimwear is already packed. Swimwear, undies, and socks, and bras already packed. But I will show you the cover-ups that I'm gonna wear. I've packed three for this cruise. 
I know, I'm crazy, I packed white. This is the first one. It's an off the shoulder swim cover up. It's really cottony and nice. Hopefully it won't get super dirty. I got it at TJ Maxx. If you wanna try to find one, they tend to bring them back. This is a cute little cover up that I got at Macy's that matches my swimwear, pretty basic. Haven't even washed it yet. Um, that's number two. And then number three is another white one that I've worn on so many cruises. I just love this cover up and it works for me. It feels really great. Whew, taking a deep breath for a moment. <laughs> I feel like I've been just talking and talking. So next up we have here, what's gonna protect me from the sun? This is my rash guard. Hopefully you can see that okay. Can you see that okay? So this is a zip front Roxy rash guard that I can wear like at perfect day. When we're doing water slides all day, I just don't wanna be completely and totally sunburned. Had enough of that when I was a little kid and now I really wanna protect my skin. And I also have some cute little swim shorts here that I got. These are, um, I think these are also, these are an O'Neill brand I got at Macy's and they're really cozy and you can wear them while you're in the water or you know, wear them part of the day at the beach. But they're just nice to have if you're feeling like you wanna be a little bit more modest or maybe you like have a swimsuit on and you wanna to go to lunch and you wanna put those on really quick cause you're soaking wet. Well, those are gonna be good for absorbing water. Okay. Let's talk about dresses. I'm a big dress person. I will often wear a dress to dinner one night and then re-wear it for a port day or a sea day because I'm just really comfortable in sundress types of clothes. So first I wanna show you my first quote unquote formal night dress. Royal Caribbean is now starting to call formal night something else though. They're calling it wear your best, did I get that right? on some ships. So this is the first dress. There's two dresses on this hanger that I'm gonna wear for wear your best night. It's just a fun off the shoulder little um, kind of satiny dress and I'll wear that with some fancy shoes, which we'll show you at the end. And then I've got on the same hanger a really comfortable cotton dress that I got at Target a few years ago that will be great. Good old standby off the shoulder dress from Express. It's cotton, it feels great for dinners and days around the ship, even days in port. And this is my second formal night or wear your best dress. It has a really beautiful dipped back and it doesn't look super formal, but when you pair this with jewelry and fancy shoes, it is really, really gorgeous. It has some pretty embroidery on it. And this is also free people on sale at Macy's. Another free people on sale at Macy's is this really cozy cotton dress. I love it. It has really funky sleeves and it's kind of a cute little mini dress. I have very good luck getting free people on sale at Macy's and Nordstrom Rack. So if that's a brand you love, definitely give it a try. And then my new splurge for this cruise is my first ever Lily Pulitzer dress or Pulitzer. I'm not sure how you say that, but you guys, this is really funny. It's actually a skirt or a romper. It has little shorts underneath it. So I think this is gonna be my embarkation day dress because if I wanna go on like the ultimate abyss, I've got shorts under my dress and I can do it. I just kind of like the idea of being able to wear a dress but have the shorts. So I've never seen a dress that hides little shorts so well. They're almost more like bike shorts, like they're kind of tight, you know, but really cute, I love this. So anyway, next up, I've got a little bit of active wear, sports bra, tank top, and a really, really lightweight Nike hoodie and some workout pants and another workout top to take in case, honestly, I probably won't go to the gym, but if you're doing something like zip lining, you kind of need active wear and sneakers and things like that. So I think we've hit most of the major areas here, you guys. I hope this was super helpful for you. Um, I'd love for you to stick around for just another moment. We are going to show you all of the shoes that we're taking laid out. And we're also gonna show you what the suitcases look like packed. But before you go, I would love for you to comment and tell us if you have ever been on a Caribbean cruise or a Royal Caribbean cruise, where did you go? And what are your packing tips? We'd love to hear all about it in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for tuning in. And until next time, we will see you on the high seas. Bye-bye. <music>